Hi everyone, this is Brian Strauser, Principal and Chief Executive here at BrightPath. And I wanna thank you for watching this video about our resiliency diagnosis process. And thank you for your interest in this offering. I wanna frame the resiliency diagnosis in this way. When you think about a significant disruption to your organization, how will your company respond? I don't think any of us enjoys thinking about crisis management, business continuity, disaster recovery, or reputation management, crisis communications, but this much is certain. At some point in time, your business will face an unexpected disruption. Understanding how your program and capabilities stack up is really the first step to being able to improve and mature your program. Even if you don't have a formal business continuity and crisis management program today, understanding what capabilities you do have and what you need to do to improve them is an important first step. Our resiliency diagnosis process is the perfect way to advance your business continuity, crisis management, and or disaster recovery program. We use a thorough standards-based process, a defined methodology and approach that I'll describe in this video that culminates in a full detailed evaluation report, maturity model scoring, and very clear recommendations on how you can improve your program. Coming out of this, you'll know exactly where you stand and how to go about rapidly improving your current state of resiliency. Our proprietary assessment process is grounded in the ISO 22301 Security and Resilience Standard for Business Continuity, along with related ISO standards. These standards, the ISO standards, in our mind, are the most widely accepted global standards for business continuity and crisis management. Let's dive into our approach. You can best describe our approach to methodology in this way. We have a very defined timeline broken out into phases that we're going to follow, starting with alignment, fully understanding the scope of the effort that we want to undertake with you, moving through pre-work review of documents, two to th four weeks of discovery, followed by about two weeks of drafting our resiliency diagnosis report, a week of reviewing and iterating that with you, a day of presenting to you, your stakeholders, and your senior leaders, and then about a day to wrap things up. In most cases, this engagement lasts from four to six weeks, occasionally eight weeks, just depending upon the complexity and the size and the scope of your organization. Let's go a little deeper into our methodology. We start once we've come to agreement on doing the resiliency diagnosis for your company, we start with alignment. We have a brief 60 to 90 minute call with you and your predefined group of stakeholders and decision makers. The purpose here is to align and scope the engagement based upon our approach. We come out of this understanding who you want us to meet with, a little bit about the current state of your program, and we provide you with a detailed list of documents that we're going to want to see and review as a part of our pre-work. From there, you and your team start to pull those documents together for our review. The next phase is pre-work, and this typically takes about a week. We conduct an in-depth review of your current program, your strategies, your policies, plans, and other documents that are relevant to our process to understand your organization's overall business strategy, and then how your current capabilities, needs, and challenges for business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communication interact and support those strategic business objectives for your company. Then we move full speed into discovery. On average, this takes two to four weeks. During this time, we're going to want to meet with each of your key executives, stakeholders, and subject matter experts. Our goal here in these conversations is to understand their view of risk, your current program and capabilities, and your organization's needs. We'll ask questions about business strategy, about the interaction of what current program capabilities you have and how it supports those strategic business objectives, and we'll get their perception of the program as it exists today. Even if you don't have a program, I guarantee your executives have some thoughts around risk. From there, we'll dive more deeply into your current program and capabilities to understand exactly what makes things tick in your organization. These discussions often lead us to request additional documents to review or meetings with other stakeholders to gain deeper insights. We typically conduct these discovery meetings virtually, but in-person options are also available. The length of this phase really just depends on two things, 
the complexity, the size and scope of your organization, and the scheduling efficiency of getting the discovery meetings set up. We can do the discovery phase more quickly if we have back-to-back -back meetings over several days as opposed to stretching out meetings over several weeks. But again, we'll work around what your particular needs are. Once we've completed discovery, we then move into the drafting of our resiliency diagnosis material. This takes two weeks. We begin crafting and iterating our report, and we do weekly check-ins and reviews with you and your project team during this time. We often will request and review additional artifacts, additional documents during this time, and we may ask for some additional discovery meetings with your stakeholders, leaders, and partners in order to fully clarify our observations and gain additional insights. Once our draft report is completed and we've completed all of our discovery and iteration activities, then we will take a week to meet with your team and present an initial review of our observation and recommendations. This is a draft report. This review is conducted in an open and iterative manner. Our intent is to use this time to strengthen the report to align with your organizational expectations and your strategic business objectives. We then will create a final version of the resiliency diagnosis report based upon the outputs of those conversations and we'll begin assembling the presentation material to present our findings. Finally, things culminate in the resiliency diagnosis presentation. Typically, this happens during a day or two. We'll present a set of virtual or on-site presentations to as many different audiences as you wish for us to help you move your strategy forward. It's not uncommon for our audience to include your CEO, his or her direct reports, members of the board of directors, particularly an audit or a risk or an operating committee. We'll work with you during alignment to define the audiences at a, as we work to finalize the scope of the engagement. These presentations are most effective if our team, our experts, present the resiliency diagnosis report directly to your stakeholders and executives. We're most familiar with our methodology, our observations and recommendations, and we're also best positioned to respond to questions and challenges through our extensive experience in conducting similar observations. I can't emphasize enough that these reports and presentations are less effective if they're presented by your internal team. You're bringing us in as the experts in business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications. We want to be able to present that work and best advocate for you and your program and the resources you need to implement our recommendations. And that's best done if we present that report directly to your stakeholders. After that, we wrap up the presentation and close out the engagement. We will turn over to you all of our work product in written and electronic form, including all of our raw material, the meeting notes, our documents, and other evaluation materials. So that's our approach and methodology. Let's talk about deliverables. What do you get? You receive a comprehensive written resili resiliency diagnosis report. This report covers our factual observations and then our recommendations to improve your program. These reports vary in length based upon the organization and the scope of the engagement, but typically they're between 20 and 40 pages in detail. We provide a brief executive summary that's suitable for sharing with senior executives and your board of directors. We include in the report a proprietary ISO 22301 maturity model. This shows you your overall program maturity across multiple factors as defined in this industry standard. We provide you with a presentation slide deck highlighting our report observations and recommendations. And then we lead up to six hours of presentation sessions for your stakeholders, your board, executives, and other leaders. So that's the, the kind of set of deliverables that you receive. For context, this is a, a graphic mock-up of what that maturity model looks like. This is the roll-up. This goes into, um, there's about 90 factors in all. And the detail version of this gets into the, all of the various scoring factors and how we rated those as we go through the evaluation. The maturity model is important because it gives you a strategic way to think about where do you sit today with program maturity and where should you be aiming for in the future. So how do we work together during this process? We hold weekly engagement status calls, typically on Friday, for 30 to 45 minutes with you. 
We do these via Zoom is our preference or Microsoft Teams if you're, if you're an Office 365 environment. But we use these calls to update you on the current status of the engagement and any challenges that we're running into and observations we've had so far. You get access to a shared Slack channel where you have regular business hours access to the engagement team that you're working with here at BrightPath. We give you 24 seven web access to monday.com. This is our, pro our cloud-based project management tool. It allows you to see exactly where we're at with the engagement, our timelines, what's completed, what's pending, what's at risk, what's behind. And then lastly, you get complete 24 seven access to our interview and our working notes, which we store in Notion, our cloud-based collaborative note-taking and work tool. So once we provided you with our recommendations in the report, um, one of the questions we always get is, can we work together to implement those recommendations? And the answer is yes. We'd obviously love to work with you on further maturing and improving your program. So following the wrap up of our resiliency diagnosis process, we'll provide you with a straightforward proposal to help you implement our recommendations and some options for doing so. That work is completely optional. You could go to a different uh, consulting firm if you wished to do that using our recommendations as well. But the vast majority of our resiliency diagnosis clients engage with us to further mature their program from this point on. Now this process is not for every company. It works best, it's most effective when companies meet these criteria. The first is that you're a mid size to a mid to large size complex organization and you're committed to rapidly establishing or maturing your crisis management, business continuity, and or crisis communications program. It works best for a company that's willing to allow our team unfettered access to your existing documentation, your stakeholders, your subject matter experts, and your executives to diagnose that current state of resiliency across the organization and give you the best solutions that can lead to real change. It's most effective for a company and a team that is willing to be strongly engaged from the very beginning, that you're willing to listen and read with focus. And once we've delivered that diagnosis report, that you jump into action to implement the recommendations that you think make sense for your organization. And lastly, this process works best for companies that are open to a different perspective. We bring deep subject matter expertise and a lot of experience and that you, this works best when companies allow that perspective to be directly presented by our team to your executives and stakeholders to drive real change in your organization. There are some other options that are common uh, to be included uh, with the resiliency diagnosis depending upon what your needs are. The three most common options are these. First, as a part of the evaluation, that we conduct a criticality and lightweight business impact analysis. It's a review of functions across your organization to determine a list of critical functions and measure the impact of a disruption to those capabilities. We do this at a department or team level using a survey tool and often some, uh, some questions we ask during the discovery process. The second is sometimes you have a business continuity and crisis management leader or some resources that need help. Um, so we offer private coaching as a way to improve their influence and performance, get your program unstuck and help move that forward. And then lastly, a lot of organizations ask for our ask, ask for access to ongoing access to our experts. And so we offer a revisory advisory retainer where you receive ongoing access to our experts to assist with strategy and help improve program maturity. And we do this on a monthly quarterly or annual basis. We really serve as a gut check to help keep your organization focused on the target and get to where you're trying to go with your resiliency diagnosis report. So how can you get started? The first thing is to set up a conversation. So you can visit brightpath.com slash contact and set up there an initial 30 minute call with our team. In this call, we'll really use this time to understand your current situation and how you think we may be able to help you. And if we think there's a good fit between our two organizations, we can provide you a straightforward proposal for the resiliency diagnosis within a day. And we can often get started with one or two weeks of our initial conversation. 
So that's a little bit about our resiliency diagnosis process. We found this to be highly effective for organizations in understanding where they stand and how they stack up from a business continuity and crisis management perspective. If this is of interest to you, or if you have questions, we would love to have an initial conversation. Again, visit brightpath.com slash contact, and you can set up a time there to talk with our team and have an initial conversation and get your questions answered. We hope to hear from you.